Hey guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today I will teach you about the designing and development of an IR based remote control circuit in which you can control some devices with the help of IR transmitter and receiver. So for it, first of all, we need to take an Arduino Uno, just drag it out like this. After Arduino Uno, that is your main controller, you need to take the IR sensor. Okay, it is not coming in search box, so we will manually fetch it out. So here it is your IR sensor. Okay, so now we can take the ground of the IR sensor and we will connect it with the ground of the Arduino, you know. Then we will take the power pin of the IR sensor and will connect it with the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then the output pin of the IR sensor must be connected with the pin number 7 of Arduino Uno. So this is our pin connections for the IR sensor and Arduino. Now we will take one resistor and one LED for the output. Okay, just confine the resistance value to 60 ohms and connect it with the Arduino. Okay, so, so we will just connect our our LED with the pin number 12 of Arduino. This resistor is actually the current limiting resistor and it also drops some voltages so that our LED is not going to burn. So we will connect it with any ground like uh, this one. It's not necessary to connect to a specific ground. Just go and connect with it with any other ground. Okay. Now we will take remote IR remote of the Arduino IR circuit. So this is our transmitter that is remote and receiver is this sensor. We already have written the code so we will okay we will I will just paste it out and as well as this code is concerned you must have to write it from the from this video so that you will make it go through via this code okay we will also okay this is a simple code in which when we will press button 2 of the remote control the LED is going to be light up and when one is pressed LED is going to be off then what we can do either can we use it for some high uh, high voltage and high power devices so we can use it like we, we can control any sort of relay with this LED signal and then with the help of relay or some track we can make on and off the television or 220 volt light bulbs and all these things even motors and some high power devices as well. So, so first we will run it. Okay. Also see on serial monitor that when we will press 8. Okay, now we will press 8 and our output is in the form of some long unsigned integer. It is in the form of integer. Some people also on YouTube uh, used to work uh, on hex, but uh, I think that in order to make if and else statement easy, you, you must 
uh, have to confine with this type of unsigned long integer so it is far better so okay now we will press 3 and it gives us this thing okay now when we will press 2 you will uh, you, you can see that our results will match with this uh, integer that is g is equal to is equal to this and this condition becomes true so our led will become light light up so so when we will press 2 our led is now on when we will uh, press our uh, button that is one led is going to be off so on two it is going to be on and on by pressing one it is going to be off so via this method you can control any led or any other device so now you can try it in your tinkercad so thanks for watching